Today I will show you how to create a contact person. In contact person, if you see, this is the link. Uh, like uh, if you go to logistics in this sales and distribution, come to master data. And we have already created customers, right? Below that, there is one tab called contact person. So this is a VAP1 is for create, VAP2 and VAP3 is for uh, what I would say uh, for display the contact person. Okay, how to create this contact person? Business level, what is the advantage? Contact person can be owner, contact person can be uh, your dispatch clerk, contact person can be your finance person, contact person can be your uh, uh, like uh, what you call manager, contact person can be your sales uh, executive, he can be anything. Contact person can be anything. That if you'd like to create it, you can able to create it. How you are going? How you are going to? Sometimes your customer itself can be contact person. How how you are how and where you are going to link this one? Let's take an example. We have already created this customer. Okay. Uh, what is that? This is the customer. Let me put the company code also. So if you press enter. If you come here, general data, okay, there is something called contact person. This is the tab actually, which is going to control. Last time we have created uh, some name here, personal manager as a contact person. So, but you have a certain attributes like department, function, or some X action is there. But how we are going to link your contact person here, okay, that I'm going to show you today. Okay. Let's uh, try to, let's go to the configuration first. What are all the attributes you can able to create it? Okay. Let's come here. Sales and distribution IMG. Within this, if you come below our beautiful module sales and distribution, where here, if you can see the section called the master data, in master data, there is one sub node called business partners. In business partners, whereas you can see the contact person, he is also like our partner only. CP is the partner function. If you'd like to create, you can create contact person as a customer also. So if you see all these are the attributes you have. So for example, what is this different standard department? So basically he might be belongs to sales or organization, quality assurance, secretary, financial department. Which department he belongs to it? Okay, so test drive. For example, if you went to showroom, your uh, SAP is implementing, okay, like a Hyundai or something like that. So test drive, something you can able to create it. Who can, who can give, who, to whom we need to contact for test drive or something. Like, you know, surgery, planning, food. Okay, it's all client requirement, how you would like to create it. Okay, let me try to create it. Uh, like, uh, D001. Basically, this is a four digit manager. And I would like to create it one more like, okay, F5 manager. Okay. So there is one thing called manager sales I'm creating. Okay. If someone would like to meet certain customer. So like, you know, these are the two departments. Let's take an example. I have given this example at customer place. Okay. What is contact person functions? Okay. So let me try to create it, D1, okay, like uh, sales, D2 is like what you can say, finance. We have created these two, okay. So basically all these are the attributes of the contact person, okay, authority, at which authority. So Suppose if you meet, suppose your director is going to make all business challenges when he is ordering certain products. For example, in our Dhruvan Foods Company Limited, uh, suppose we went for an inquiry for that company. Suppose if we went for Reliance or Future Group, they are also buying. So certain cases, who is the sole decision maker? Like uh, he might not directly involve with each and every person to buy the stock. Maybe purchase manager or someone will be there. Like, you know, 
he might be main decision maker or a solo decision maker suppose when these kind of things will comes into picture suppose if you are selling a luxury product product called bmw or something else like you know you met his manager because uh, actual boss is traveling country to country he is busy but he would like to order one uh, bmw car or ferrari car so sometimes they will give authority to manager also they will give the check and give it to him so such cases he will become a sole sometimes the two owners are their joint decision maker like that you know your authority okay general authority like that you can you can take like nine is already there i think it is a single digit let me put it to nine it's there so like there is something called company fis so he will take care within the company i have created something like that okay for name sake for configuration so define call frequency so when uh, if you'd like to sell one product either insurance suppose he bought a veg car another company is their insurance is providing for that car general insurance when he is supposed to meet so every 15 days or four months like sales follow up call how it needs to be done that you can able to define here okay let's take uh, monthly quarterly is there so let's try to create one more like 009 for every five days okay follow up call the customer for that contact person when it convert to actual sales decision when we have to contact every five days we have to do different buying habits okay so buying habits in the sense like you know he is having a positive attitude like doing different okay uh, so your customer if you meet also he won't buy anything like you know we'll keep it still in our database buy is only in package like that you know suppose you have a doubt like you know why we have to define all these attributes first you try to understand why we are using sap because we have a tons of customers are there and a lot of stock need to be delivered which customer which kind of person what kind of contact person he is having so that I, we cannot able to remember manually so that's why we are maintaining this buying habits okay define vap indicator so like a management or top management or director or something like that and this then uh, if you are meeting the director then uh, you should be a bit careful that's why you have to it depends like generally all these things they don't use but contact person they require these attributes all all attributes they don't use it sometimes it might be general sometimes it might be specific it depends on client requirement the projects whichever i have seen contact person they have used but they don't use all these things some projects they will use all these things so these what need to be like what is the requirement that need to be given by your customer you need not break your head what need to be defined in this section okay and we have additional attributes are there so like uh, apart from this like uh, what is like suppose some he is into sports the person like you know depends on so like uh, when you meet a person how the sales will happen how you talk nicely with them like you know what he is likes and dislikes like he has given music and all these things right so they have given like you know different attributes that you can able to see this this if you want it you can able to assign to that particular contact person so if you see okay this you can check additional attributes apart from that okay so if you would like to create a sales employee without hr this is the link like uh, last time i have shown you but this is not required as of now let's try to put it sales emp okay press enter so the node is not given it's not required I just keep it aside as of now because it should be linked like you know vep1 i have told you one transaction for creating an employee okay the employee can be sales employee or else to regular employee within the company so without interacting with the hr module that you can able to create it but uh, we haven't used much 
Okay, leave out this one. This is not required. So transport request to HR tables. Okay. Okay, now you see this. Suppose they have given a function like, uh, but this is in uh, what I would say. In this system, it is not working practice system. Maybe it, it will go to VPE and transaction only. Once it created that, will be linked to your HR module or something like that, or else something relevant without HR or something like that. Okay. So now you got all these the contact person attributes. Okay. So now let's go back. Uh, let me try to let me try to create you. This is a transaction for contact person. Suppose I'm creating contact person like, uh, I'm taking this one. Okay, already created customer, you can try to create it as a contact person. Uh, let me try to take uh, this person only. Any one of this customer I'm just taking. So now you see, you can uh, like uh, he is having visiting hours when he's supposed to like, and let me put the title Krishna. Okay, um, let's put the title like, you know, Mr. Okay. So when morning certain time, like, you know, visiting hours, I told you, right? When uh, we have to meet, like, you know, you can choose the time like this. Okay, Monday or else you only available at Saturday. Like in the remaining days, if you go, you won't be available. So he's a busy person. I'm just giving an example, like, you know, so let me try to put it, this one, some meaningful. So like a morning 10 to night nine, you can able to meet it. So Saturday morning 12 to night nine, like that, you know, you can put it. So this is one. So let's go to VIP indicator. So he is from management. Uh, which department he is belongs to? We define our own also, right? So we can able to choose it. He is from finance side. What is his function? So that function, if you would like to define, you can define. So he is like uh, somewhere finance accounting manager. Okay. So what is power of attorney? Individual decision maker or solo? So joint decision, decision maker. He, he will check with his uh, top management. Okay. So this is higher partner, lower partner means like uh, representative member means that we can able to define like any, uh, it is at a hierarchy level. Don't get into this as of now. So gender is male. If he is female, you can you can choose his date of birth also. Like it's required. Even if we join our company, they are maintaining our date of birth to send wishes and all. Like you know, Dravan Foods. If he is not sending wishes, so someone is sending wishes, like Britannia or Parley every time. So then they won't remember. This guy won't also send wishes. So sometimes sales will happen if you wish some person also. Okay, or else it's a courtesy. Okay, you can choose his date of birth or something like that. Okay. So marital status, married and all these things. Okay. Let's put it married. So call frequency. How many times we can call it? So I told you, right? Five days. We have defined this. So advertising material, if it is required, we'll take this. What is his buying habits? Okay. So pause two. Always, whenever we meet, like uh, he, they have a requirement, so sales will be there. Requirement. So based on uh, his attitude, they will write it. So suppose if he is having negative attitude, if he is in wrong notion, then it is very difficult to meet him. Okay. So we have created last name, like you know, building floor, long ways, email. And all these things but most of the projects what they will do they will use email here okay and communication method they will choose here so internet like uh, this is for output generation uh, so like that you know they can able to do this one 
okay let me try to save see business address or home address i need not explain you can able to enter the address here okay let me put this is mandatory field so let me put the country so you can able to enter his address like you know office address home address visiting hours this is sufficient so if you create it you for this customer contact person created like this okay let me go back and see so 165854 xt02 okay if it is see if you see this error it's not created for this sales area then if you don't know if you forgot any check here this is created for whole seller let press enter okay see ramkrishna d0002 automatically came his finance department for customer you can able to create it directly or else you can able to choose your own also so ramkrishna have created department finance manager finance function so this is the one these parameters like if you required for certain usage like you know based on department like uh, if i would like to uh, what i would like to i would like to display so let me choose here here facts and uh, you have other things will be there one second why it is not moving the slider is here that is the problem okay these all this uh, settings uh, should it change why students playing with this software actually so if you come if you go above you can see facts and email so in one of my project they have used email so they use it like finance contact for billing and sd contact for your sales order to generate output or something like that okay so this is how you have to link your contact person so this is what you are doing so like if you would like to change it go to this contact person you can able to change it okay so now let's me go back xt02 if you double click more importantly i would like to show if you double click this line you can able to see for this customer who is the contact person his details okay so this is what we are doing like if you go to the display mode it will come in display mode authorizations will be there and uh, original sap system i think you can able to create it uh, contact person let me say one more like uh, suppose i have created this customer for this i am going to create one more contact person okay let me save like someone called king for example it's my wish i can create it my own his vip indicator department d0001 he is again manager of the sales if we come to the function power of attorney everything will be same if i would like to define i can define all these details <laughs> it's my wish okay he is single so he is a contact person for this guy so you see 165855 Slash and xd zero two. If you see the contact person King also created here. If you click here, you can able to see his details. So whenever any sales is required, depends on visiting hours. People going to meet this person to convert the sales actually. Okay, this is how it is very important. It is very very important in many aspects in projects actually. That's what I wanted to conclude. so when we discuss about uh, once we concluded to last class like you know at a real time level if i will try to help you out like you know in what way you can able to utilize this one okay thank you very much